Hello, this is Amy Hildebrandt here uh, with the Oak Creek Recreation Department. Uh, we've been having some nice days lately, and so you might be thinking about summer coming up and maybe uh, thinking about signing up for our summer camp programs. Uh, I'm here to do a few fun and exciting things with easily found things around the home. Uh, the first of which is you'll need some paper. Uh, the card stack's a little bit better just because it won't rip as easy, but whatever paper you have is good. You're going to need a pencil, and we can cut paper into strips. You only need one or two depending on how long you want it. Okay, so I have about a one inch strip, a scissor so that you can do the cutting, and just a tad bit of tape. So the first thing that we're going to do is a little fun thing. We are going to take our piece of paper, card stack is what I have, it's blue of course, blue for Oak Creek, and then we're going to fold it in half. See? Okay, so it's folded in half, we're going to cut out a small hole, so take and make a small cut on the end. Go across, this is cutting on the fold, and just a little bit more, and cut that other end. So we have a hole in that paper, right? It's kind of a rectangle. I have a quick little fun thing that we can do. Uh, do you think I would be able to fit into this hole? Uh, maybe just an arm, but not my whole body. With a few cuts of a scissors, I would be able to fit my body through this paper, okay? And so we're gonna try that today. So we're gonna fold it back up so that we have it halved. We have the two ends that are still folded, okay? And the cut is on that folded side. Okay, now we're gonna take that scissors that you have at home. Again, you can use safety scissors, regular scissors. Depends what you have on hand, okay? And of course your age. If you're a younger kid, a safety scissors is better. But we're going to take that scissors, we're going to try and cut right along that first line. Do not cut all the way through, we're going to leave about an inch at the end. So there's a little tab here, see how that is, okay. And then we're going to take the top and we're going to cut about the same amount down, not all the way through, just to about an inch from the end, okay. So we have another, another strip. So we're going here and here. Take it from the bottom, once again, where those folded edges are. Do a slight cut, once again, up, not all the way through. Then go to the top, start again, okay? You can make these uh, as big or as small as you want, but remember, the smaller they are, the bigger the hole at the end. And so we're gonna try and see if I will be able to fit through this piece of paper. Keeping going, alternating sides, leaving that little bit so that we don't cut it all the way through. Because again, we want to make it a circle or a hole to be able to fit through. We want to make sure that there's an odd number at the very end. If it's an even number, it's not going to work. So think about that as you're cutting. Maybe you want to count. We're getting close to the end here. All right. And I have one more. Okay, so it's gonna look accordion-ish, right? Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open that up, okay? So I open up and look at how big this hole is. And if you look, I can put my head through, my body through, and I can wiggle it all the way down to the floor. Step out, and you have made a big enough hole in that paper in order to fit through. So it's a fun little thing that you can do with your parents to try and get them to see, or maybe talk to your brother or sister after you watch this video, okay? Another fun and cool trick that we have today is we take our little strip of paper that we have. We're gonna hold it out front, Okay, we're gonna roll it up. Do not put it together yet. We're gonna roll one side so it's opposite. Then we're gonna take it, hold it there, grab a piece of tape, and then we're gonna place it on that crease. 
Okay, so we have our circle. Then, with this circle, we're going to try and draw a line all the way around. Okay, we're going to see if we can do that. So we're going to take our pencil. We're going to place it down on the floor, the table. We're going to place that pencil lead on there in the middle, and we are going to keep going around this paper. Okay. So you're gonna try and keep that lead on the paper following along. And we're keep going right down the center if you can make it. Okay, keep going, keep going. Down the center of that paper. Wow, it's taking a long time. And you'll come to that same side where we met the other line. Look at that though, we have it on both sides. How did that happen when we have just a circle here? We have it on both sides of that circle now. That's a very interesting thing. Now we're gonna try and cut along that line. Since we have one circle, do you think there'll be two circles at the end? Or what do you think might happen? Well, we're going to find out. So we're going to take our scissors once again. Again, it can be a safety scissors or a regular scissors. But we're going to start by taking and pinching one spot so that we can start a hole. Okay. Then we can stick our scissors through that little hole. Uh, my scissors and cutting. There we go. And then we are going to try and cut all the way around this circle. And since it's a circle, we should be able to get two little rings, right? Since we're cutting it in half. All right, let's take that last cut. <gasps> we end up with one big circle. The thing here is we twisted the end of that paper. Nobody really knows why this occurs, but they use this in like belts in cars and things like that to be able to make them without a crease in them. They make one big circle and then they cut it, make it oval so that it'll fit between the gears. And so again, this is a nice little fun thing, something that you wouldn't think to do, but something that you can think about while you are at home. Again, unfortunately, right now we have to stay at home, so different things, thinking about um, paper and items around the house. We'll have another little investigative thing uh, coming up shortly in a, a little while. Uh, you can find it on Facebook. Again, this is Amy with the Oak Creek Recreation, and I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, oh it's super.